Well, since moving out of my house, I've really felt like a new man. You know, I haven't been under a lot of financial pressure. There have been no burdens in that way. And I've gotten a lot of mental and emotional clarity. And those were some unexpected benefits of of no longer being under, I guess, a lot of that stress. And that's been amazing. But at the same time, there's still just a little bit of that, you know, you still take yourself with you where you go. And it seems that old habits die hard. I believe that a lot of those positive changes will continue to, you know, move me in the direction of the person I'm becoming. And those positive changes will continue to happen uh, but I guess I'm sort of realizing at the same time, it, it's maybe a little bit sobering <laughs> that you still take yourself with you wherever you go. I think those are things that get worked out as, as I continue to grow as a person and develop myself. A lot of that's going to get, it's going to get shaved off, I think. But, uh, you know, with, with so many changes happening and so many positive uh, things happening, I just couldn't help but observe that, you know, there's just a little bit of that. You take yourself with you. I've had the chance to reconnect with old friends here in, in December, and being that time of year, the holiday season, maybe some people have a little more time than, than others. Uh, I actually spent some time working through a lot of, you know, projects and so forth although i will admit I've, I've taken some liberties this month this last month as well yeah because well i guess i'm just used to i'm not necessarily used to working through december i'm i'm generally used to taking a little bit of time and, and that's good you know it's a good thing to relax and rest and, and downtime all that's all that's necessary of course and I also, I went, I attempted actually to go to a meetup group. This is kind of funny. There's like a podcast meetup group in Calgary. And it was my first time going to a meetup group. And the guys weren't there and they didn't show up. <laughs> and, and maybe I should have realized being the holiday season that maybe they just weren't getting together. It was also like really freezing cold. I mean, it was probably, quite possibly, one of the coldest days of the year. So, you know, it was at uh, it was at a local pub, and I just ended up, you know, chatting with the waitress, and I don't know if that's the politically correct term, but I just ended up chatting with her, and ended up having lunch there, because I was just starving. <laughs> so, like, I still... I still met someone, you know, um, but I didn't, uh, you know, didn't get around to other podcasters, which is what I was kind of hoping to do. Uh, but I guess it is what it is, you know. Hopefully next time I attempt to go to a meetup group, it goes a little bit better than that. I've been working on my ebook this month as well, and and that's been coming along slowly but surely. And, but I think I really want the theme of this reflection to be, you don't always know. You don't always know. And that's not really in a negative way. So like, uh, you know, what's just around the corner, fear-based thoughts. That's not what I'm really talking about. It's really more of like, you, you don't know how you're going to respond in certain situations, or you think you know the the logical end of something, but you don't. You know, for example, this podcast. Uh, <laughs> in, the, in the last few months with my various reflections, I've said, this is the end, and I'm not doing this anymore, and I'm not going to be doing any more reflections, which which some of that might be true. But I'm, I think I'm gradually finding that this is actually... It's, it's actually been a really cool ride, and, and I think there's just... I feel like there might be more to be done. I don't know yet. But I've been making some changes to the website and I've been working on the ebook and uh, I've had uh, some other things come together that just made me realize, you know, there I think there's still more in me and you know, as they say, don't die with your best song in you, right? And I I think I'm still going to be going to be working at this for 
a long time to come, whether that's, you know, this podcast or some other projects that might bring to the table. I'm still going to be working at that a long time. And so I guess the biggest challenge for me, right, is, is time, is, is figuring out how to fit this into my life. And, you know, you, I think I just I might have to get better at scheduling my day or, or that kind of stuff to to kind of fit it all in but you know as as often is the case I'm, I'm up to a lot of different things so there's various projects december has sort of been good for that right because i've had more time to to put towards things like this i haven't had to you know haven't had a huge commitment uh work-wise so it's been it's been good for that but i guess you know keeping that consistency and, and figuring out how to do how to do how to do all of it consistently is is kind of the important part and so like i said i think i i maybe put out some ultimatums out there and as i as i reflect now i'm going maybe it it just needs to take its course maybe it just needs to you know continue in in some capacity even if it wasn't quite the capacity that I was hoping for like whether that's like blogging every day or podcasting every week some of that might be unrealistic but looking forward you know if it if it's something that I can you know get out there consistently for people and and the audience and so they have the expectation of knowing that okay when I come to the website I can probably you know this week I can expect an update and then next week again there'll be another update and and stuff like that so those are just some things that i've been thinking out but in either case i really hope you've enjoyed these reflections and and you're definitely more than welcome to let me know what you thought of them send your comments to comments at daw-music.com